12. Be fair spoken. Where many people live together, unnecessary jokes come out there and as a result, quarrels arise there. Try to form a habit not to talk unnecessary. Be determined that you will hold your tongue. It is better to talk in a controlled way than to talk frequently. What is the benefit to disturb others by some words in this short life? You, myself or anybody else is not an extraordinary man. We should be courteous. Others should be allowed to work according to his liking, need and thought. If any bad word come up in your mind, don't utter but vomit. Many things come up in the mind, if you utter all those then a havoc may occur for nothing. It will end if you shallow it. Outward speeches are like dust. Don't chalk unnecessary. If you give up the habit of much eating and much chalking, it will help you in talking sweet and useful words. Those who drink all the time, does not get the taste of it and those who talk all the time, does not think at all. Accept all remarks of others whether it is warm or gold, then only you will remain free from danger and will get peace. Most of our strokes are either too much controlled or too much emotional. Knowledge increases out of listening and repentance grows out of chalk. Be quick about listening, talk in slow speed and be calm when you tend to be angry. Don't discuss about, talk about and criticize somebody in his absence. Don't utter in absence, what you can't utter in presence. It is better to talk less about the matters in which others are involved, meaningless talks are rather better than that. You are to talk in a controlled way when you talk to mean fellows, otherwise you will be harmed. Repetition of the same words again and again is indecent. Repetition of same words devalues the words and makes the talker lie to others. To talk too much is a sign of foolishness, maybe the matter is very important. A man becomes harsh with the decrease of his qualities. When a man's youth is gone he becomes talkative. Then he enjoys unnecessary jokes as he has nothing more to do at that time. All the men talk much during old age, because they think that there was many things to say but nothing is told. And they think that if they can't say those just now they may not get the chance later on. Or they do not get listeners, young people always avoid them. So if they get an attentive listener, then they want to say everything and leave nothing won't find anything more to say if you talk too much. It is better to remain silent than to spoil a good environment by talking nuisance. Silence is better than talking on some immoral topic. Don't protest against what an idiot says, yourself will become idiot if you do so. Allah has given us two ears and a mouth so that we listen more and talk less. It is impossible to understand a man without understanding his power of speech. Listen minutely to what one says to judge his character, a man's character remains unknown till he talks. You can't have a clear idea about somebody till you understand what he says. Right of listening does not mean the right of speaking. Nothing is should be said unnecessarily or before it is necessary. It is better to tell a harmless lie than to tell a harmful truth. The sayings which are short but have a deep meaning, of high thought and not disturbing to others is the best. You should talk according to your status and should act according to your strength and power. Let others to talk frequently and let him understand that his speeches are nice and meaningful. Show your affirmative reaction by saying yes single quote when others speak. Admit your fault without any hesitation and express your ideas nicely, meaningfully, with a requesting tone and in a dramatic way. Talk less and listen to others' wells and woes, because nobody likes too much talking. Express a negative statement in a positive way and if you are to give somebody a word, think a lot before it. Don't pass any remark yourself, but reply to others' questions. It is better to remain silent than to talk nuisance. Sweet talks from an ugly mouth is sweeter than a nice face. Don't give word to a newly introduced man. If he presses you much for that, you should keep some way so that you can avoid to do so. A cow is tied with a rope and a man with his words. Sound keeps on going far away filling the time as a bullet goes through the air. He who listens minutely, not only because a well-known and popular but after some period he acquires a lot of knowledge as well. Be fast to listen but be slow to speak. Listen more and think much more. Most of the people think with their months. They can't accept the new ideas and possibilities. 
they argue rather than to ask. Consciously try to learn from all. Don't listen poor and coward, don't he be led by people but think independently. Words, conversations and behaviors may be more beautiful than a physical beauty. Man regards him who speaks with slow speed, calmly and reasonably. Sincere words only touch others' hearts. Pronunciation is like a language, feelings and ability grow from itself. Whatever you say, say wisely and if you find any fault of someone, don't circulate it. Nothing is so effective to make yourself clear to others than by your speech. Talk in an orderly mark, irrelevant talks create disturbance to others. If you know how to talk politely, nobody will react even if it is unexpected. A harsh word makes the softest heart into the hardest stone. He who can talk nicely, can attract other for long. A sweet word cools a man's mind more what a piece of ice can do. It is a good habit to listen to every word of others minutely. Think a lot, then you say and then activate it. A reserved person is the best. Both ways language and style of speaking attracts others. He who cannot control his tongue has nothing to acquire a good status. Think about what you have said then unnecessary words will not come up to your tongue. Listening is more important than speaking. If you are to answer of some questions, listen attentively the question at first. Those who talk much, don't want to listen. Those who listen, don't want to say. Control your tongue. An oyster keeps its mouth shut tightly. And as such pearl is produced inside its body. Silence is better than talking on an immoral topic and it is better to talk to a wise man than to keep silent. Less talkative people are always very conscious about themselves. Keeping silent is a quality, which everybody wants to acquire. But as a result apparently lose many things. Speech has an art, if you can't acquire that art, you can't please others by your speech. Speaking nicely is an art. If you acquire this art you can easily bring people close to you. He who can talk nicely becomes attractive to others for long. Real public relation grows by nice talks only and by at others' minds are one effectively. Speak thoughtfully among others which can influence them. You bring people closer to you forever by only your honest, devoted, sincere and sympathetic talks. When you address the listeners and talk lively and encouragingly, it will surely come into work. You must inform something through your speech. You should influence others' minds. After all, you should please the listeners. Talking with clear pronunciations, calmly with selected words and variations of tones make your speech attractive. You should present your speech relating to a particular subject, should put emphasis on the importance of the subject and it should be clear and concise. Think wisely and talk simply. Talk regarding the subject which is relevant and according your knowledge on the subject. Quote instances in your daily conversations. The idea and words which come out from a man's mouth act like an electric power on the other's mind. Discuss with others about their wells and woes, hopes and aspirations, beliefs and welfare matters and console them whenever it is needed. To converse properly is the total of humanity. Use of words should have a meaning limit. Use the words according to the acceptability of the listeners, because others will interpret your words according to their knowledge. A sentence should communicate one of the four ideas, that is, hope, ability, company and its inner meaning. All sentences except a false one, backbiting in a meaningless one brings an expected result. Talk meaningfully which is pleasing to the ears, pleasing to mind, attractive, manly, wanted by others and is related with the aspirations of others. When a man is learning a language for the first time or making friendship with a newly introduced person, then he is becoming a new man. Language is introduced to facilitate mixing of people with each other. Generally, this mixing is with the closer ones, for all and for every day. Language is not a being but descriptions of the being only. Due to the variation of context and situation same language carries different meanings. By walking up the emotions of the listeners and using the appropriate reasoning, attraction and belief of the listeners are to be created in favor of the speech. You should revise and polish your opinions according to the place, time and object. Words are limited but its inner meanings are unlimited. 
use sentences as small as you can to make your talk clean and attractive. Without hurting others' feelings, a short neutral and positive expression which is expressed by mouth is called talk. To express positive expressions only always keep busy your mouth. Tongue, mouth and speeches are the steering of a man's personality. All the speeches come out of one's mind, tongue is only the way to express it. A man's speeches are the parts of his personality as a piece of bread is bread itself. A hurt by a tongue may be more dangerous than that by a sword. Although a tongue is only three inches long, it can kill a man of six feet height. As much as speaker is qualified, his words will also be like that. Tongues are the roots of all evils, he who does not talk much makes less wrongs, wise men talk less. As a rose has thorns, a woman hurts others with her sharp and offensive words. By a letter a man's open heart is seen. Non-impartial speech ruins the speaker's personality, as it is he cuts down his hands himself. As salt is mixed proportionately in the food, mix sweetness in your speech. Mix advices with your speeches as you mix sugar with milk. Maximum people are weak in wisdom. Don't exceed limit while talking about good or bad side of something. You should say about what others want to know and understand. As the power of understanding of the listeners is not clear and clean, it is of no use to make your speech lengthy. You should talk keeping in view the power of understanding of your listeners. It is not right to talk about any subject with anybody, it may result confusion. Some secret matters react adversely to those who don't have the power of understanding the fine matters and as a result, possibility is therefore breach of their trust. You should behave with people as it is applicable for women. They should not be told anything except they want to listen. It is harmful for the common people if you disclose the actual picture of everything. A listener or a reader feels irritated if somebody passes any bad remark about a belief which is commonly receded to all. Dante explains such knowledge to an illiterate person what he does not understand, otherwise, he will consider you as an illiterate person or a liar. There are many matters, what about is better to be ignorant. The first thing a good orator is to do is to say something at the beginning which excites the listeners or the readers instantly. Most of the orators become unsuccessful, as they say in the traditional and typical way, which is nowadays totally ineffective to win the listeners. A lecture should always follow some fruitful works. A lecture should be clear and concise. Talk as much as you can with the girls. This is the best practice to learn how to deliver a lecture. Fluency of speech can be very well acquired from this practice, because you not need to conscious what you are saying. If you can describe nicely about an ugly matter, the ugliness of the thing will decrease to a great extent. A tone becomes nice when it is sweet wisely, attractive, fluent, thoughtful and melodious. Nobody likes harsh words but everybody is satisfied with those who are soft-spoken. A soft word very easily pleases others. It is better to talk according to the situation. People like them who are less spoken, submissive and talks which is pleasant to the ears. Talking in an inappropriate situation, meaningless, uncontrolled talkative, is to be avoided for all the time. Even with your relatives, you should talk thinking about its result. Behave according to your position and think before you say something. Carefully control your mind and words. A scholar's credit is acquired through his efficiency in speaking. A man who is self-controlled, impartial, grateful, calm, friendly, benevolent, regardful, sweet-spoken, loving to others, advise others nicely and generous, is a scholar in real sense. Those who chalk soothingly are called as having well mouths. Collect summary of various wisely saying story of good deeds of the great people and tell them to people for welfare of mankind. He is the real devotee, who is self-controlled, thoughtful come and maintain a limit while talking. A man talks fluently when he is delightful but in sorrow he can't utter that. When you can't speak due to a mental shock and you start talking in response to others, then your words become more and more critical fine and ornamental. It is very hard to think before talk but most of the people talk without thinking anything. Keeping silent and being courteous are the valuable qualities for a conversation. Talk with each other reasonably and courteously. 
Conversation is one of the delightful matters in the life. Still pursue what are required for it. A good listener influence others easier than a good speaker. Greeting according to the time and person and wishing during leaving somebody, create good relation between two persons. Don't say what you don't know and don't hesitate to say what you know in appropriate situation. Your words should not express egoism or cowardice, then only you will become a friendly speaker. It is good to be straightforward but everything cannot be said in all situation. A good news can be told at any time but a bad news should be told after a thinking a lot. A sentence is rare which will be true and pleasant at the same time. A truth is not sweet and sweet words are also not true. By straight cut words God is satisfied but men become angry. Talk shortly. Tell the truth in a pleasant way, don't tell the unpleasant truth, do not tell the pleasant lies these are the sermons of the ancient religions. Tell the truth, softly, pleasantly, calmly and tell what is beneficiated to others. Everybody is pleased by pleasant words, so you should not hesitate to speak pleasantly.